Y'all hungry this morning? Are you hungry? Well, let's get you something to eat. So we're taking a break from sawmilling and I have neglected this barn and the cows ever since I got my new toy. But yesterday we started setting up for the head gate install, which is gonna be right here. And I had to open this section up I don't want to bring the cows in here to eat, so I'm going to put this gate up back up right here and let them back in here. That's, that's kind of what they're used to, is that this was... This used to be those boards there and took those down. So let's uh, let's get them in here and get them fed. And I gotta give them some bells of hay. What I've been doing is, it's been so wet that I hadn't wanted to get the tractor out and drive it down there and put a round bell out. So I've been feeding them the last of the square bells, which is fine. It's fine. I'm a coming. God, you're an armory this morning. I would be too. Yeah, I would be too. I hadn't eaten my breakfast yet. Right. Let's go. <laughs> All right, settle down. And I normally don't feed them here in the barn lot, but these bales I had, uh, I restacked some hay yesterday. And these bales had busted, so I didn't want to carry them out to the field. And I'm in the truck, I'm in Betty White. I didn't drive the cart out here, so I didn't want to drive it, load, put hay in the back of it. I got a bunch of stuff back there anyway, driving out in the field. So they're eating in the barn lot today, which is, which is fine. I am going to give them a round bale today. Today's Wednesday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So here's the thought process on this. Um, I want to leave this as the loading chute. So I didn't want to disturb this. So this is going to be an opening to where when we get the cows in here, head gate's going to go right here. I just have an old head gate that I bought off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And so this is going to be a gap. There'll be boards here. And this is going to be a gap to where they can get in if they need to mess with the cow. And then I'm going to put this gate right here the gate's gonna go right here and I'll move these rocks and that way if the cow can't come through we can push the cow back open this gate the cow can come out right here this is a pile of rocks came out from my grandparents old house which was right there where my house is now so yeah massive stones that's what the foundation was on these stones a lot of these came out from under the chimneys but that's neither here nor there well it is here and there but not here or there. And when you're digging holes out in the old barn lot, you dig up old plow parts. And they can be a real pain in the butt. But anyway, so I've dug a hole. I'm gonna put a four by four right there to span, kind of help span that gap. I'm not quite in the center like I wanted to be. And then I'm gonna come off of here and I'm gonna put a pole here between these two. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do here. I wanna leave I can't have walls like this because you won't have access to the cows. So what I may do is put a board down low, a board up high, and then put verticals in between. So when you're sticking your hand in and if the cow jumps or something, you don't want it to push your hand up or smack your hand on something. So that's what we're doing.
Well, the foreman came, supervisor showed up. Check on my progress. What do y'all think? Everything coming along? Like you like it? How about you? You like it? Give me a hooves up. All right, back to work. Well, I apparently only bought one battery and no charger. And it is uh, almost dead. So I did get this uh, kind of funneling chute put in. I have to put a gate here to make sure they don't go into the you know, loading chute. And then we'll, uh, I'll probably hang like an eight foot gate or something I can swing against the wall here and swing against the wall there. And then uh, I gotta put one more post in right there. I'll, I'll do that here in a minute. I ain't gonna make y'all watch that. But, and then all we got left to do is mount the head gate, which is extremely heavy and it will require two people. So I have to get my buddy who helped me put these posts in yesterday. Come back one day next week and we'll uh, We'll put that on, we'll get that mounted. It's a uh, little foggy out here this morning, but we're back on the head gate installation. Um, so the plan is, I still got this gap that goes from there, it's about 10 foot to here. So I'm gonna put boards here, and then here, I got something else planned. I want to put a board across the top and a board across the bottom. And to still allow access to this side, I'm going to put these, it's just EMT. Freaking Lowe's didn't have any 10 footers. So I had to buy five footers. Anyway, so, and to put them vertical, because if you got your hand stuck in there, messing with the cow and it jumps or something, you know, I don't want to have to go up and you stick your hand in between two uh, horizontal boards, bang your wrist or break something. So my plan is to put a series of pipes in there, a certain distance apart where you can have access to the cow. And then the other side will have the gate. So let's get started. So I've got a board up here, and it's the same level as here, but you know, looking at it, I think I'm not gonna put one here and drop one down because it's low this one's probably you know close to five foot off the ground and if the if you had to get up there and you'd have to reach, reach way over to get back down to the cow so i think i'm gonna take that one down drop it down and then we'll just put four here and see how that works out
Well, I muscled this thing over here and I set it up on these cut off pieces I got and uh, with my pry bar. I got, it was, it was only about a half inch off. So I've got one, I'll put a bolt and washer here, I got them right here. And uh, then I'll tighten this down, I'll, I'll just cut off what's left or, or maybe not, we'll see. I want to get this bolt washer on here and then I gotta I have to jack it up They're half inch holes I made them five eighths five inch drill bit just to give me a little bit of play we'll see how we'll see how close I got it yeah just I got it just barely started kind of tight in there just barely sticking through I'll drive it in with a hammer or crescent wrench and then we'll have it up all right we got to tighten up I'll cut these off with a hacksaw it's just a little see where it scrapes right there a little bit hits I'll have to I'll shave that off it won't be much it won't close just pull on hard enough I don't need but just a little bit uh, I'm gonna get some uh WD-40 and grease this thing up. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and mount it was I had to figure out what I was going to do to attach the gate and I didn't want anything to be in the way of the gate. That's why there's this gap here to allow for all these all this mechanism. And then here there's got to be a gap here. So what I'll probably end up having to do is either set another post behind here or further this one out. Come out I ain't quite figured it out but I definitely wanted to get that head gate mounted so I could get around all that. So after a lot of personal debating and second guessing myself and you know input from the cattle this section here I've decided just to buy a gate so I went and bought a six foot gate. I'm gonna hang it right there I'll raise it up and get pretty high and make sure it's not in the way of, uh, of the uh, mechanism here I may have to scab something on the side of this but uh, that's what we're going with. so let me get this installed and we'll be I mean done for the most part all right ladies and gents good people of YouTube that is the end of the uh, what, what, what am I what, what's the word I'm looking for head gate install <laughs> I damn gonna have to uh, Further this out i put like a four by four i got a couple extras i'll cut it and uh put a four by four here and uh because it is this is jammed against it right now i got it open um i guess i could have just put it a little lower but i didn't so i'm not going to and one other thing right there i'm gonna i'm gonna put a piece on the outside of this post to that post so that maybe that board right there put it over here so you can put your foot on it stand up and get up over top here and get to the back you know the business end of a cow but anyway that's it so in about a week 10 days the 29th uh, we're gonna test this out we are going to be doing some artificial insemination on my cows I was looking for a bull I contacted my neighbor she said well I, I hope you look for a bull, but would you be interested in doing some AI? She has a guy coming out to do some of her heifers. I said, yes, it's only five cows. It's, it's cost effective. You don't have to worry about the hassle of having a bull. So that is the main reason I want to go ahead and get this head gate up <clears throat> and running to have it ready. So today is, I think, the... Uh, 18th anyway a week from sunday the 29th we're gonna come out we're gonna run the cows through here we're gonna give them hormone shots and do an exam and then the next sunday which is february 8th <clears throat> we're gonna come back give them another hormone shot and then that wednesday february 5th uh, we're gonna work them and inseminate them so that's the schedule um but anyway appreciate you watching see you next time